What's up guys, this is Igor in Russia and today we're gonna be checking out the Victory Day in St. Petersburg, the preparations for the Victory Day. A couple of days from this moment there's gonna be a huge event, maybe the biggest uh, celebration in Russia and many other uh, post-Soviet countries. I'm gonna be talking about events happening on the Victory Day 2021 and also about the St. George ribbon, the orange-black ribbon that you most likely have seen somewhere before. So I release many videos every week so remember to subscribe, hit that like button and share the video. Hope you guys enjoy the uh, Victory Day preparations here in St. Petersburg, Russia. Let's go! Says Pabieda 1941-45 victory. And the palace square is ready. Here we are in St. Petersburg and Palace Square, the Victory Day's main focus. Check this out. The parade is gonna go through here, over here, and the uh, the vehicles are gonna go to the right and the uh, marching soldiers to the left is the honorary receipts for the veterans, politicians, commanding officers and they're gonna look towards this place so this square which is full of soldiers there's gonna be four and a half thousand soldiers This year is the uh, 76th Victory Day over Nazi Germany. So there's gonna be drones, cameras, live feed, everything. Babieda, once again, victory. There you can see on the huge, huge banner over there. And this is where the soldiers gonna be actually marching towards this position where do <laughs> that position over there it's a day it's a day where uh the russian people celebrate the veterans and the huge deeds made by the uh previous generations against the nazi germany and winning and defeating the nazi germany in 19 1945 russia took the heaviest hit took the heaviest blow from the nazi germany in the uh, second world war or as they call it great patriotic war in russia 27 million died in this war Pro approximately half of the uh, casualties were russians and most of them were civilians st petersburg and russian cities have uh, lots of events uh, starting from the first of may in honor of uh, victory day celebrations so it's a nine day celebration around even more actually starting from the late april 
The main event is, uh, is the Victory Day Parade here on Palace Square in St. Petersburg. Of course, in Moscow, it's, it's the Red Square, as you know. And the parade is actually gonna be uh, happening exactly on this spot where I'm walking now. This is something that's organized every, every year. And this is the 76th uh, celebration of the Victory Day in Russia. It's gonna be four and a half thousand soldiers lined up behind me on the on the Sunday of 9th 9th of May and traditionally and this year also the first one to start the parade off is the tank legendary tank T34 so there's gonna be four and a half thousand soldiers there's about a hundred uh, military vehicles driving on this parade there's gonna be tanks T34 up to 85 T72 B3 then the uh, the uh, military transport, the legendary BTR 82A. Also taking part is the uh, infamous uh, rocket complex Iskander, Iskander M. Uh, then the, of course, also has even more infamous, the uh, defense system S S400 and lots of others. For the first time, there's gonna be also uh, military uh, transport Ural 63095 also also known as typhoon u typhoon u in addition to the uh, vehicles and the soldiers there's also naval parade near uh, st petersburg in kronstadt legendary naval fort which uh, defended st petersburg for hundreds of years and also the aerial parade over uh, this uh, palace square flying over is gonna be all kinds of uh, all kinds of airplanes uh, fighter jets, uh, Su-30, Su-30, MiG-31s and also helicopters, military helicopters and the the military vehicles are actually gonna be parked soon over here ready for the military parade they're gonna be standing over here all the way stretching to the uh, to the Moika River and also they're gonna be arriving here they're gonna be parked over there some of them and uh, they're gonna be driving over here all the way towards the uh, St. Isaac's I'm gonna talk about a little bit about the uh, world-known in many ways world-known St. George's ribbons I received this like a few minutes ago because they actually given them out this is a symbol this is the symbol of uh, victory in Russia and military glory over the over here this symbolizes the victory and the orange and black actually represents uh, fire and smoke it dates back to way back to the uh, Imperial Russian army and it was used for uh, for a long time but uh, this is basically it's been politicized uh, in some events lately, but otherwise, this is basically a good thing. It's a uh, this is how you uh, it's how you show your gratitude and that you don't forget the sacrifices that people made. The Russian people attach these. You can actually keep them on for as long as you can, but especially they are worn during the uh, Victory Day uh, celebrations over here close to your heart for example over here to your cap to your uh, many people put them on uh, in the inside the car on the mirror you should be respectful and uh, not take it over the top
joining please subscribe to my channel like share and uh, comment happy victory day from here st. Petersburg Bravo.